We'll guide you through how to fix not being able to transfer files to an external drive on your Mac. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Basically, you're unable to transfer files onto the drive, but you are able to transfer them off. And this is due to the format that the drive is in. So what we need to do is go and change the format of the drive. To go and do that, we are gonna have to go and delete everything on the drive. So what I recommend you do is you make a backup of it. So what I'm gonna do is go and create a new folder and just name this backup. Then highlight everything on the drive and then you can go and put it in that folder we named backup just like so. And then it may take a moment or two to copy it. We've now done that. So once you've backed everything up, as, as I said before, you are gonna lose everything. You need to open up something called disk utility. So you can go and open up your launch pad or go and search for it in the top right, it's up to you. In your launch pad is then in other and you can then click on disk utility and then head over to the left and go and find the drive you're having a problem with. Then once you've selected it, you then need to go up to the top and you need to go and press on erase. And now what we can do is go and change the format. So as you can see at the moment, it's set to Windows NT file system. If we go and set it to XFAT, this is a very good sort of broad system which is gonna work on both Mac and Windows. And then you can name it as well and then press erase. And now it's basically reformatting the whole thing. And just like that, it's now finished. You can go and press done and you can then close your disk utility and we can open up our finder again or just even open up the USB directly. And here it is. So as you can see, it's empty because as I said, we've just reformatted it. And just to show you it's working, let me drag the backup folder onto it just like so. And I could also go and drag some pictures as well. And that's it. The drive is now working. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.